your question is find the real solution of the equation see what they have given 3x square plus 5x minus 7 and whole to the power of 4 that is equal to 1 what does it mean that means if you keep 1 to the power of 4 that is also 1 now now your base is same and the power is same so now we what we will do just we will take the base so that is equal to what that we will do that is your 3x square plus 5x minus 7 is equal to 1 bring this one to your left side it will be 3x square plus 5x minus 7 and minus 1 that is equal to 0 hmm? Hmm. now so what is this we can say it as 3x square plus 5x minus 8 that gives you 0 now what we have to do the next is you can see a 3 is there that means we will take 3 as common so now it will come as 3 into x square plus 5 by 3 x minus 8 that gives you 0 now check for your bracket 1 that is your this up to here so this sign is positive that means we have to make it a plus b whole square how we will make just we will keep this 3s aside and we will take a big bracket then a small bracket then we will make a plus b whole square and minus b square and bracket bracket close then minus 8 that is equal to 0 now now check for this so here a plus b whole square is what a square that means a square is your x square so we will write here a square is equal to x square now a is equal to x and 2ab 2ab is also coming okay 2ab that is equal to 5 by 3x we will write here 5 by 3x you can see a is x so that means this and this gone so what is your b b is equal to 5 by 2 into 3 6 5 by 6 now substitute this a and b here what we will get we get 3 big bracket then small bracket a is x plus 5 by 6 whole square minus b square that means 5 square is 25 by 6 square is 36 and bracket close minus 8 that is equal to 0 now open this bracket we get 3 and here you will get x plus 5 by 6 whole square and here minus 3 and 25 by 36 minus 8 that gives you 0 now cut this 3 and 12 now solve this what we will get we get 3 x plus 5 by 6 whole square and here comes a minus sign so minus and the LCM is 12 you will get 25 minus again 12 into 8 is 96 96 that gives you 0 Hmm? Hmm. Now, solve this. What you will get? We get 3 
x plus 5 by 6 whole square minus now 6 and 5 is 11. 1 carry and 9 plus 1 is 10, 12. 121 by 12. That gives you 0 now. Okay. Hmm. Now, we have to solve this. How? Bring this to your right side. You will get 3x plus 5 by 6 whole square that is equal to 121 by 12. And a minus is there, it will become a plus. Now, just cross multiply these two here. What we will get? We will get x plus 5 by 6 whole square. That is equal to 121 by 36. Now, if x plus 5 by 6 whole square is this, so what is your x plus 5 by 6? That is what? Plus minus root over this. So we will get what? x plus 5 by 6 is equal to plus and minus root over 121 by 36. Okay, now, now bring this 5 by 6 to here. What we get? We get x is equal to plus and minus root over 121 by 36 and minus 5 by 6. One twenty one. Whose perfect square is this? It is the square of 11. We will get it x is equal to plus and minus 11 by 36 is the perfect square of 6. 6 minus 5 by 6. Now, take at a time one thing, either positive or negative, in plus minus 11 by 6. We get, if we take positive, what we will get? x is equal to, for positive, for positive value, what we will get? We get x is equal to, see this. 11 minus 5 is 6. We get 6 by 6. That is equal to 1. And when we take negative, what we will get? x is equal to for negative value. You can see minus 11 minus 5. Minus 11 minus 5 is minus 16. We get minus 16 by 6. You can cut it by 2. We get minus 8 by 3. So these are your values. What is that? You get only two answers. But if you take here instead of 1, 1 to the power 4 is 1. But if we have taken minus 1 to the power of 4, minus 1 to the power of 4, that is also 1. So this is the case 1 and case 2. So case 2 is your minus 1 to the power of 4. That we will take now. So now your equation will come like this. It will come as 3x square plus 5x minus 7 that is equal to minus 1. Bring this minus 1 to left side. It will be what? Minus 6. Anna? It will be 3x square plus 5x minus 7 plus 1. That gives you 0. That means 3x square plus 5x minus 6 that gives you 0. Now, we have solved this problem by your squaring method. You can solve this also. 
by this method. But here we will solve by a shortcut method that is our quadratic equation, quadratic formula. What is that? That is your x is equal to minus b plus minus root over b square minus 4ac by 2ac. By this formula we will substitute here. So now see this 3 is your a. a is equal to 3 b is equal to your 5 and c is equal to minus 6. Now substitute these three values here. What we will get? We get x is equal to minus b that means minus 5 plus minus root over b square that means 5 square is 25. Minus 4 into 3 into minus 6. by 2a 2 into 3 that gives you minus 5 plus and minus root over now 25 is here and again what is here minus into minus is plus 3 into 4 is 12 12 into 6 is 70 by 6. 2 into 3 is 6. What we will get? We get minus 5 plus and minus root over. Now add it. 5 plus 2 is 7. 2 plus 7 is 9. 97 by 6. Now your you contains 4 answers. 2 here, 2 here. Again 1 is plus, 1 is minus. So first we will take plus 1, plus 1, so what is that, it is x is equal to minus 5 plus root 97 by 6, now we will take minus, so minus how it will come, minus x is equal to what, minus 5 minus root 97 by 6. So these are the four answers. 1, 2, 3 and 4.